Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. We're going home. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 121, 5. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Hallelujah. Praise God for the Son of Man. And thank you, Father, for your Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, that's carrying me through every second. And most of you know Revelation 3.3. 3. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Well, the opposite of that is, if you do watch, you will know the hour that he will come upon thee. And he's coming immediately. He's coming immediately. He's coming immediately. Woo! Praise you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. So the devil, he tried to stop me. He hates me. And a brother, all glory to our father, Michael, told me to search Stellarium and search 6,000 in Stellarium. As soon as I did, it popped up. The asteroid, United Nations, right in the woman's stomach, getting ready to come out of the womb with the child. And I'm not going to draw it out, so I'll make it real short and sweet. Praise you, Father. So right after that, I let our dogs out. And I fed them. And Moses wasn't eating. He just got sick a couple days ago, but he was getting better. And he's been drinking water and going to the bathroom. So anyways, he went out. He didn't eat, but he went to the bathroom and he came back in. So I poured him a cup of water and I held it there for him and let him drink it. He drank about half of it and then he laid down on his side and I poured the rest of the water or some of it into a paper plate and he was laying there on his side drinking it. And I was like, I love you, Moses. You're getting better. And I'm going to go do this picture. And I went to my room for five minutes to make the cover picture for this video. And when I came out, he had left the living room. He was laying on the carpet and he went into the kitchen on the linoleum. We have a couch in there for the dogs. And he went on the couch and he fell off. When I came out of my bedroom five minutes later, he was gone. And his legs were still up on the couch, but his body was on the floor. So I wrapped him up in a sheet. And I prayed over him and told him I'd see him in heaven. And my son and I took him to the vets to drop him off and paid the little fee. And during all this, while this was all happening, as soon as I came out and found him, it hit me immediately that after Moses led the people out of Egypt, all glory to you, Father, and led them through the Red Sea, right before they made it to the promised land, he escaped. He passed away. And right after that, Joshua went in and smoted, killed all the inhabitants of Ai, and took the promised land. So we're going home, family. This is a heads up from our father. Moses was perfectly healthy. There was no reason for him to die. He was eight years old. And then it hit me. Praise you, father. Christina passed on October 17th. Today is exactly eight months and 11 days. Just like her dream. No one could find 8-11. Well, guess what he showed us today, eight months and 11 days after Christina escaped, the asteroid United Nations coming out of the womb right before the child comes out, right before the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet by the asteroid Yeshua, right where the husband would be when his wife is delivering a child. That's right where I was when my kids were born. And right when that sign happens and the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet on September 18th, 19th, that's when they're doing the United Nations 2030 agenda. It is literally a covenant with many at the United Nations building in New York. They already have a seven year covenant planned to confirm and today, again, eight months and 11 days after Christina escapes, he shows us the United Nations right next to the child in the woman. We're going home. It's a wrap. It's going to happen 
immediately. It's crunch time. Everything you do right now until we depart is going to go down for history, for eternity. Woo, I just got blown up. Praise you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. Hair standing straight up. Holy bumps all over me. The garment. The anointing. God. The Ruach HaKodesh. This is the last piece of the puzzle, family. We will never see a picture, a lineup, a rapture painting like this ever again in the 118th Jubilee. Now, let me walk you through a couple things real quick. And I'm going through a lot, as you know, and other things I don't even want to talk about. So I appreciate your prayers. All glory to our Father. I ain't even tripping at all because I know we're leaving. We're going to heaven. We're going to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And it'll be like the times of Noah and Lot. And they were protected and they escaped before the destruction came. And God gave Noah a seven-day warning. Imagine that. And I prayed for the week years ago and cried out to him. And this is what he's showing me. This year, Elul 25, the day of creation, is on 9-11, family, the day that God said, let there be light. The anniversary is on 9-11 this year. And remember, on the sixth day, he made man. So on September 16th, the Feast of Trumpets, it'll be the anniversary of when God made man, when he made Adam and Eve. And on the seventh day, he rested. And the anniversary of that is September 17th. And I'm hoping that's the day that he says, you may now enter into your rest, good and faithful servant. Because that's the anniversary of when he rested on the seventh day. And the biggest clue to the rapture in the whole Bible is the trumpet. At the last trump, the trumpet will sound and the dead in Christ will rise first. So that's our biggest clue, the trumpets. And on Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, which this year it falls on a Sabbath, so they don't actually blow the trumpet until the second day. And they blow it a hundred times at a time. And the last time they blow it is longer than all the rest. And at the last trump, the trumpet will sound. And the dead in Christ will rise first. And then Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, God told them to blow the trumpet on that day too. But in John chapter 6, Jesus Christ said that he will raise us up on the last day. Four times in that chapter. And the last day of the 118th Jubilee is the day before the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, on September 24th. Now hold that thought. And we'll get back to September 24th and it being the last day of the 118th Jubilee. So praise our Father family. He gave us this gift and show us that the child is about to come out of the womb. And then he gave us a second gift and showed us that the United Nations is about to come out of the womb. And I'm going to walk you through this, but I want to show you the third gift that he gave us. And you can do this. It blew me away. You go to Google and you type in DART mission. As soon as you start to scroll down, look what happens. Yeah, a satellite just went by and... The whole Google page tilted. And the reason that is, is because DART is a double asteroid redirection test that they did last year. And if you remember, they did it to this asteroid that I've been following called Didymos. And in Hebrew, Didymos stands for Thomas. And it reminded me of doubting Thomas. So hold fast. It hit Didymos on September 26 last year, 2022. And this is gigantinormous because our father, he's the one that said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. 
So our father has this asteroid, Didymos, on a certain course. And they said that it would hit Earth. So they redirected it and they slammed into it with this satellite, supposedly. They could have planted explosives. They could have done anything. But anyways, they hit this asteroid and there's videos of it on YouTube. You could watch the impact. They hit this asteroid and changed its course from the course that our father originally had it on. And today, it's right there by the crown of the woman. And so is asteroid Lydia, the woman in the Bible that was known for making purple dye. She was famous for it. And as you go through the days, you can see Mars is following Didymos and passes Didymos right there on Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. And when the trumpets blow, as you can see, the asteroid Didymos is right next to the moon and Mars. And the reason why this is so gigantinormous, again, they changed its course. So it's almost a guarantee that it's going to hit something and possibly cause a third of the stars to fall. As you go through the days, you can see on the 19th, right there, when they're having this seven-year covenant with many at the United Nations, that's right when it's going into the woman's stomach. Now we'll go back to the 15th, Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets, and we'll go to United Nations, and we'll back up. As you can see right there, on the 13th, the asteroid United Nations is getting ready to cross the line of the woman. And when you go to the 14th, you can see that's right when it goes past. Now I'll take you to child. And when you go to the 15th, you can see that's right when the child passes and comes out of the womb and passes the line. But it gets bigger. And I'm going to try to keep this video short. So God willing, I'll walk you through everything that I'm seeing. There's so much more. And all of you are seeing it now. And it's blatant that this is leading up to the rapture. We're going home immediately. Now back to September 24th, the last day of the Jubilee the acceptable year of the Lord, if you go seven years ahead, bam, there it is. Seven years after the last day of the Jubilee this year, which won't happen again for 50 years, the asteroid child is right next to Betelgeuse, the star that's going supernova. This is not a coincidence. This can only be God's odds. God is telling us that he's sending Jesus Christ. And how do you know? Because the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars right here. Lined up with Israel about to go into civil war. Lined up with the United Nations about to confirm a seven-year deal. Lined up with 483 years ago, 69 weeks, Daniel chapter 9, the command went forth to rebuild the walls and the gates. 1540. And they sealed the golden gate in 1540. So don't be like doubting Thomas, Didymos. And remember, without faith, it is impossible to please him. And I've been following this asteroid called Vera because Vera means faith. That's the definition. And as you can see, our faith is about to be weighed, family. Vera, the asteroid, is going into the scale right now. Our faith is going to be on the scale. And as you can see, as Rosh Hashanah approaches, faith is leaving the scale right when the United Nations are confirming this covenant with many, family. It's time to go home. 919, the moon, in the scale, Vera, faith.
coming out of the scale. I got the Holy Spirit all over me. We don't need any more signs. We know he's coming. This is it. This is beautiful. He is so awesome and merciful and loving to give us these signs and show us the time he's coming. Biblically, spiritually, mentally. You can see it's about to happen, family. I'm going to be so happy to meet you in the clouds and see you at the great wedding feast. Matthew 8, 11. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. And as you can see, there's an asteroid named Miriam right there too. Like Miriam, the prophetess, Moses' sister. And when you go to the last day of the Jubilee, September 24th, Miriam's right there. And when you go seven years ahead, Miriam's right there in the lineup next to Regulus, the heart of the lion. And the moon and the red planet, they call Mars. And Mercury and Venus is going into the woman. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. Right then, the asteroid Lucifer is right there on the heart of the lion, Regulus. And imagine how much Lucifer has hurt Jesus Christ's heart the lion of the tribe of Judah. So it's not a coincidence that the asteroid Lucifer is there seven years from the last day of the Jubilee and possibly the time that he's locked up for a thousand years. So there's the three gifts, family, the final pieces of the puzzle. Whatever you got to do, get it done now. We're going home. He's coming immediately. This is our exit, family. I love you, and I'll see you in the clouds.